gentlemen, I want you to come up here and just say a brief word or two. But a guy who has made us all better people for knowing him as a friend and made us better media people, journalists, because of his help and assistance at this and many other events that we cover around the country. Big round of applause for Gene Hempton. came to my mind as I, I walked in here and, and from the moment I walked in I realized something was happening that uh, wasn't uh, spontaneous <laughs> and I, I started putting the things together about why so many people at work were concerned whether I was going to make the <laughs> I had people calling me leaving for the airport to hear before I did and calling me from the airport and wanting to know if I was going to be on my plane. Because I do have a tendency to say, hey, if I'm behind in my work, I'm canceling this trip. You know, uh, as important the trips are. And he are, said that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started wondering as I'm sitting over here, how did people who think I'm old enough to early retire mm -hmm. Also think I'm born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and that all came right there and uh, putting everything together. But you know, I appreciate all this. I uh, I'm not retiring because I don't play golf. I don't fish. I, I don't do things that most people retire. I just like to do what I do. I like to have a little bit more time to do what I do. I got a book I'm writing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're cut off, Gene. Thanks for coming, everybody. That's a sign, Gene. That's a sign. <laughs> This is, an op this is now an industry you just walk away from. You know, after you make the friends you have in this room, uh, you just don't say, okay, on February 1st, March 1st, January 1st, April 1st. I've had all those states for friends. <laughs> and we haven't had time to do it. Uh, but you don't turn around and walk away from something like this and say, because I don't play golf. Uh, the, I don't fish, but I do have a, a memory of everything I hear, and I wanted something that would allow me to do several things. One was to retire a bit early, uh, at least by Social Security standards, um, to uh, still not walk away from this, but have an opportunity to continue my relationship with you on more of a contract basis and not a full-time basis. And also an opportunity to do other things that I have been exploring and want to do in my life. And uh, as somebody mentioned, you know, I almost didn't make it to the uh, award meal, award dinner, or whatever it was of the Mild Diesel convention last year where I got the Innovation Award. But I, uh, I said to the surgeon who operated on me, I said, I'd really like to go to that place and get the award. And she gave me all the things I had to do. Don't carry anything more than 15 pounds. Take somebody with you. Don't put the in the boat. And uh, uh, I said, I'll do all those. And she said, well, remember, uh, you, uh, 
just remember two things. Number one, glad to be here because you almost died. And I said, I realized that, and I realized what you and your surgical team did from that. And then the next thing opened my eyes. She said, be uh, glad that you were very young when it happened. And I looked at her and I said, I think I love you. <laughs> you weren't 90 years old. <laughs> but I appreciate that. I didn't expect something like this. And uh, I appreciate for those who put it together and uh, helped make it happen. I want it to be seamless. I'm going to be seeing you uh, in the future. I'm going to continue helping out with New Holland and so forth and doing some of the other things, including the books I want to write Sarah, but I, where are you, Sarah? Raise your hand. The, the book I've been trying to write for 10 years, and, uh, and uh, working with my friend Michael Peterson in a tour he has going on now that's a very valuable tour for inspiring young people. And so there, there's a number of things I like to do, and stay involved because, like I said, I can't walk away from all of you and just say, okay, uh, you're here in golf course next. Uh, that's not my style, and I don't think you may most of you know that my style. So uh, appreciate it. I appreciate all the uh, kind words.